Hi guys, hope you are doing well. Today we're going to be quickly looking at adding a group track and what does it mean and uh, what does it do and why do we use it. So just to remind you, how do we add a new track? We can either on the project window go here to the plus sign and we see the different tracks or we can just right click on any of our tracks or this empty space, right click and say add track and we've got multiple so today we're going to be looking at the group track what is it and why do we use it so i'm going to add one and i'm going to give it a name drums and you'll see why so here it shows up now sometimes you'll find yourself in a situation where you have multiple channels that you would like to turn all of them um, louder or quieter for example but not necessarily interrupt their relevance to each other. You know, how much louder the hi-hat is to the snare and how much louder the percussion is to the cymbal and, and things like that. You would like to maintain that balance, but take them all and just reduce them. So for that, we have a few options and the group track is where that comes in. Um, the group track also has some added features so we add the group track and we open this mixer window and here at the top where it says routing you'll see that all my drums are currently going to stereo out which is this main bus so I'm gonna play you my little song and then you can see what we're gonna do Alright, so if we look at the drums, say I want to send all of these to my drum bus. We're going to use the routing. As you can see, they're all going to the stereo bus at the moment. So I'm going to click there, change it to group, this group that says drums. And I'm going to do that for all of my drums. And what's happening now is they will not go to the to the main stereo bus immediately they will actually first go into this fader and thereby I can control all of their volumes and the drum bus if you look at my drum group that I've added now then goes out to the stereo so that I do hear it at the end of the day it will just act as a middleman so let's hear that again now look when I turn down the drum fader Alright, so there you can see, and I can have my solo button. Alright, so that is what a drum group is used for. It also has all the features like your inserts and EQ, whereby you will now EQ everything, all of the drums. So let's hear that. Alright, so you can see how the EQ will affect everything and so on. So that is what a drum, uh, uh, a group channel is for, is to basically route multiple channels into a single fader.